Imagine this scenario. You've just reached your nearby lake, pulling your trailer to the boat launch. As you prepare to embark on a day of water fun, a car pulls up beside you and drives straight down the ramp into the water. It's surprising, but instead of sinking, the car floats and starts moving away like a regular boat. How is this possible? Well, as niche as it may be, there are indeed amphibious cars that can function as both a regular car and a boat when needed. Although they're not very common, these amphibious vehicles are incredibly fascinating and unique. Keep watching to discover the top 10 coolest amphibious vehicles out there. Introducing the world's fastest amphibious car. That is, according to the year it was produced. Powered by a 3.7 liter V6 engine, it can achieve speeds of 43 miles per hour when cruising on water. Additionally, it has the capability to tow someone on water skis effortlessly. But wait, there's more. This versatile vehicle isn't just limited to water adventures. It can also be used for your routine trips to the supermarket and, of course, your occasional desert safari. Originally sourced from Watercar, a California-based company, this specific model was imported and modified by ProDrive to comply with UK road regulations, enabling it to reach speeds of up to 80 miles per hour. Currently priced at a little over $200,000, this unique vehicle is a rare find. Due to Watercar's recent closure, ProDrive is unable to acquire additional units, making this a one-of-a-kind vessel that enthusiasts should act fast to secure. This Lotus Elise is far from ordinary. Inspired by the Lotus Esprit submarine car from the James Bond movie The Spy Who Loved Me in 1977, the founder and CEO of Rinspeed decided to create his own version. Similar to Bond's car, this vehicle was primarily designed to function as a submarine rather than a boat. It is equipped with twin electric-powered propellers that allow it to dive to depths of up to 10 meters. While passengers rely on scuba-style breathing gear to stay safe, interestingly, there are no wetsuits shown in the promotional images, so a change of clothes would be advisable after a dive. Despite its underwater capabilities, the scuba has a modest top speed of just 2 miles per hour when submerged, which could pose challenges in escaping adversaries underwater. However, on land, it can reach speeds of up to 75 miles per hour, offering a more practical mode of transportation. Project Sea Lion Project Sea Lion was a six-year endeavor aiming to claim the title of the world's fastest amphibious car both on land and water. Although it didn't set any records, it deserves recognition for the attempt. Crafted using TIG welded aluminum and powered by a Mazda 13B rotary engine, its inventor suggested it could potentially achieve speeds of 180 miles per hour on land and 60 miles per hour in water with the right enhancements and skilled hands. Interestingly, this makes it significantly faster than its namesake which reaches a mere 25 miles per hour, according to our resident zoologist. Its inventor, however, didn't follow through till the end. 
The project was last spotted when he listed it for sale at just over $250,000, offering assistance to the new owner for any future modifications aimed at breaking records. The Amphicar Debuting at the 1961 New York Motor Show, 3,878 Amphicars found buyers before production ceased in 1968, marking it as the sole mass-produced amphibious vehicle available to the public. Surprising, right? Powered by a rear-mounted 1.1-liter four-cylinder petrol engine, akin to the Triumph Herald 1200, it generated 38 brake horsepower. This power was directed either to the rear wheels on land or two twin propellers located beneath the rear bumper for water travel, with steering managed by the front wheels doubling as rudders. The Amphicar showcased its aquatic capabilities in 1965 with two successful English Channel crossings Notably, former U.S. President Lyndon Johnson once playfully alarmed guests by losing control and driving onto his lake, joking about brake failures. Quite the prankster! Gibbs Aquata In 2004, the Gibbs Aquata, driven by Richard Branson, achieved the fastest English Channel crossing for an amphibious vehicle clocking in at 1 hour, 40 minutes, and 6 seconds. Despite its appearance resembling a mix of a Mazda NX-5 and a monster truck, the Aquata shares no similarities with the sports car, apart from its headlights. Its design features a McLaren F1-inspired three-seat layout, with the driver positioned centrally and passengers on either side. Powering this vehicle is a 2.5-liter Rover V6 engine, enabling the Aquata to reach speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour on land and over 30 miles per hour on water. The Dutton Surf Our affection for the Suzuki Jimny is no secret. We were genuinely saddened when it vanished from Great Britain due to emissions restrictions. So, when faced with a Jimny that navigates both land and sea, the only question that arises is, where can we get one? This innovation is brought to us by the former kit car manufacturer, Dutton. The concept is straightforward. Either purchase the conversion kit and handle the installation yourself, or provide a donor chimney for them to transform. The conversion process involves transferring the chimney's mechanical components into a new body made of stainless steel, plastic, complete with a water jet propulsion system, Dutton asserts that the surf can reach a maximum speed of 6 miles per hour on water, regardless of how much you press the accelerator. While it won't set any speed records, it's unlikely to disturb local wildlife excessively. Rinspeed Splash The Rinspeed Splash isn't your typical amphibious car. It's a hydrofoil that can fly about 60 centimeters above water, akin to those seen in the America's Cup. At low depths and speeds, it operates like a standard amphibious vehicle using its propeller. Once at 1.3 meters depth, deployable fins allow it to glide through water at up to 50 miles per hour, propelled by a 750cc twin-cylinder snowmobile engine. 
generating 139 brake horsepower. Weighing just 825 kilograms, it achieves 0 to 62 miles per hour in under 6 seconds and tops out at 124 miles per hour, showcasing its versatility on both land and water. Hobby Car B612 The B612 unveiled at the 1992 Paris Motor Show, a unique mid-engine four-seater available in various configurations. It featured a 1.9-liter four-cylinder engine, powering both its four-wheel drive system on land and two hydrojets on water controlled by a joystick. However, not everyone is into water sports. Case in point, Lane Motor Museum in Tennessee housed one of only 50 to hobby cars ever made. In 2018, during a demonstration, the hobby car sank in a lake, but was later rescued with no injuries. While capable, its mishap raises doubts about its seaworthiness. DUKW? Including this vehicle in our best amphibious vehicles list is essential, as it played a crucial role in World War II despite often being overlooked. Pronounced as duck, resembling the quacking bird, this six-wheel drive amphibious vehicle was utilized by the US military and allied forces to transport cargo from ships at sea to shore locations where it was needed. Based on a modified GMC 2.5 ton truck and similar in size to a lorry, these vehicles could carry over 25 soldiers or two tons of equipment in one trip. With over 20,000 in service during WW2, the remaining ducks are now commonly seen ferrying tourists in cities like London, Dublin, and Boston. So, if someone offers you a duck tour, it's not about feeding ducks in the local park. The Gibbs Humdinga. The Gibbs Humdinga is a robust utility vehicle that resembles a boat with wheels rather than a typical floating car. It operates efficiently as a workhorse on both land and water. Powered by a diesel Mercury Marine V8 engine, delivering 370 horsepower to either the wheels or propellers. Equipped with nine seats, it boasts a top speed of 80 mph on land and 30 miles per hour on water, matching the performance of specialized on-road and on-water utility vehicles effortlessly. Welcome if you are new to the channel, and please don't forget to subscribe as we discover another list of the top 10 coolest amphibious vehicles in the world shortly. Thanks for watching and see you again soon on.